uh, hello this is a continuation from my crazy contemplations on uh, what are we seeking searching for uh, what is the purpose of life and how shall I live my life uh, this is uh, for like-minded people who are interested in what I say I don't want to force anyone to live like I would want to live myself so uh, what am I searching for yes it uh, the video ended on uh, uh, the creator of life uh, is um, the creator of life so I've missed on uh, this again it keeps uh, leaving me uh, the creator of uh, life and how we should live if we don't know the creator how can we go on living and making our world uh, so uh, it came to this and it was in Urdu to apni dunya banane wale walo uh, to Zaira kaise apni dunya banaogi jab dunya wale ko nahi janti puri kainat ka jo malik hai jisne ye dunya banayi hai हाँ तो अपने आप को कनेक्ट करो ये डिसकनेक्शन कैसे हो गया है हाँ ये डिसकनेक्शन हो गया है और आ, क्या है कि लाइफ इज इम्पॉर्टेंट विशफुल थिंकिंग नहीं करो डोंट गेट इन टू दिस विशफुल थिंकिंग्स होप्स लीनिंग ऑन द होप मिस डिसा नेवर केम बैक uh, yes, sorry, in the past video, I had said that I was going to Murtaza, Alim Murtaza in my dream. One Ramadan, I had this dream. That, uh, I, no, I was going to ask Alim Murtaza when Ms. Dissa would come back. So he just pulled his uh, abaya up on his shoulder and left me. Well, you know, they used to say that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu used to keep uh, the hypocrites near him, near him. So there was a lady near him, Alim Murtaza, in my dream, asking uh, about her sister's husband when he would come back. And he said that uh, when you don't have hope, then they would come back and so I had uh, this uh, Allah Quran open to just Allah A L A and uh, on my lap well this has a, a detailed uh, I have to say why I had this dream and uh, what happened to me what I was thinking of uh, but not right now right now is uh, realizing uh, the true existence what is the meaning of this existence what is the reason what is the purpose why are we here and what is uh, making a living making a life what is that are we truly making a life by having cars and uh, technological advancements and uh, what's the civilization advancement yes we I was thinking yesterday we have cars but uh, there's so many car accidents why couldn't we make uh, cars that uh, uh, didn't hurt people yes and had I known uh, uh, in soldier bazaar the old house where I was living <laughs> I, I wouldn't have to go so far. I didn't need transportation. I just needed my legs. Walking distance was uh, my principal, Mrs. Manira Gulzar's house. <laughs> anyway, some people will definitely make fun of me 
and say that uh, she wants to go back into the olden uh, age <laughs> or something. <laughs> so these cars, like, they really hurt and uh, the speed and everything. <laughs> but I was thinking like this, I mean, what if the cars were made of rubber? Uh, then you see, because we give soft things to our children, we don't give them sharp objects. And so once they grow up uh, to that age where they can deal with sharp objects. Ah, so everything here is perishable. Nothing lasts forever. Things break and get hurt. And so, what is this life about? So should life be a battlefield against opposites? Uh, so we have we created angels and devils? So Zara, Jawad, everything is not black and white. There's grey too. Yes. Uh, so, there's uh, not only summer and winter, uh, there are seasons in the middle, spring, autumn. Okay, so in that last video I finally realized that I have finally uh, bore witness uh, to a creator, a creator, which I was afraid sometimes to bear witness and bearing witness to something it's um, you have to be fully realized no you can start from nursery first a b c d you may not know the full language you're learning oh so in nursery you learn the alphabets first oh we need a teacher for nursery first class second third Yes, but uh, <laughs> this Nade Ali, uh, because I went to <laughs> uh, an Iranian rest, uh, sorry, <laughs> Iranian school, and in the morning, every morning, Le Auntie Lely Begum, <laughs> the owner of that principal, would teach us Nade Ali. <laughs> See now, uh, Dr. Deepak Chopra's meditation, he's teaching us that uh, in his uh, Hinduism, Vedas and all. We must align to the universe. Uh, so we have to say, Aham Brahmasmi. But I, like the Rishis, I haven't gone up to the throne of God. Don't have unseen knowledge. Did you ever try to seek unseen knowledge? I did. I mean, um, but in Surah Allah it says you prefer the life of this world whereas the hereafter is much better and longer lasting. Those who purify the, their souls succeed. Succeed, sorry. So the Quran doesn't say that if you have lots of money you are successful. If you have a career you are successful. But it says, purify your souls. That's the true success. And you see, I was thinking how uh, the ladies of El Al Bayt, Prophet Muhammad wasallam, went from Karbala to Kufa to Sham. I can just not ima imagine. Uh, with Imam Sajjad now. So you see, now I'm going to the New Age. Uh, I've been to the New Age people. And uh, there, everything is pointing at uh, what Imam has said, alayhi salam, uh, were telling us, God is sufficient. Like uh, they say, you have to tell yourself, I am enough. So in the Quran it says God is sufficient for us. 
He's the best helper, the best provider, and the best protector. So how did they go without food? I mean, back to the Karbala uh, people of Imam Hussain alayhi salam, ladies, children, uh, Imam Sajjad who was unwell. How? They just believed that God was enough. God is enough. So they lived it. They were showing us. Without food, without water, everything taken away from them. Heartbreaking, heart wrenching, going through atrocities. Uh, in that remote place, in the desert, how shall I say this, captives now, uh, with an army who have butchered their loved ones mercilessly, ruthlessly, set ablaze their tents. How much a mourning period did they get? We don't even know. The next day they were taken captives. Imam Hussain alayhi salam, sir, people were saying, God is enough for us in action. Marcia, Bibi Zainab ka. Ghurbat me yatimi thi. Hai hai ki ke <laughs> Allahumma salli ala muhammadin wa ala muhammad. 